with 90 mile per hour winds possible here over the next few minutes or so. So uh, there's the you dust. You can see some of the dust. Right? There's right there, the dust. Yeah. Can we zoom in and go a little bit to the left? Wow. You can see the dust as it's coming through because the gust front is out ahead of the precipitation. So a lot of times what you do is you get the rain to fall and that can mean that um, it kind of makes things muddy and it brings mm -hmm. all of that dust to the ground. Can't zoom. However, we do have a, a, you know, a lot of dust coming through. Uh, you can even see right under the word live there how it's swirling around and that's pretty significant from our uh, Davenport Eagle Eye so we can just stay on that. That is shot. pretty amazing. In fact, Eric, can you go to a little bit to the left? You, uh, move your camera to the left. I know you can zoom in. And this is coming into the Davenport area at, wow. at 70 miles an hour. So there let's just go. stay on this because this is really some fascinating stuff. This is not any type of fire or anything like that, folks. This is actual dust being blown up from those wind gusts that are coming ahead of that storm. If we can go a little bit to the left, I want to see as this crosses the Centennial. The Centennial is not going to be, let's see if we can pan a little to the left. Okay, look at it going underneath the Centennial now. Keep going to the left. This is a very fast moving storm as it's coming through. You may even see some power flashes from the dust, from the gust front as it's moving through. And now let's keep going. We're following this dust cloud. Um, in the severe thunderstorm. Let's let's park it right there yeah, if we right. can. The birds flying around like what is going on here? And it almost looks like um, an apocalyptic scene <laughs> in uh, downtown Davenport right now. Wow. There's a power out. There we go. There's a transformer that just went. Let's that stay was in on Rock this. Island. This is a dangerous situation. Uh, for the Quad City metro area, indoors away from windows until this passes, preferably in the basement. We have got uh, uh, 90 mile an hour winds possible here, um, and that's going to bring down trees, power lines, perhaps onto some homes. We're not sure how long we're going to have this eagle eye up because of the winds are strong enough. We may lose this picture. So when, if we do, uh, Eric, who's in our booth, um, might be a good idea Eric, to even go to the shake. Yep. So we're getting a Might little bit of the shake. Might even go to the Eagle Eye uh, above our, our station here, just in case. But let's keep this shot going. I think we oh, just, just froze. I on just us. clicked to Moline. Let's keep. Let's pan. Let's tilt up a little bit. Let's let's bring this in close to, to Moline. That's a great thing about having two live cameras. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to get a vantage point from Moline shortly. Um, here's Davenport. You can see that's the sign of the call building. The, look at the sign is shaking on top of the the call building in downtown Davenport right now as we're starting to get some sheets of rain that's going to take yeah. the um, the dust out the dust is really going to only be on the front side of this um, as it's moving through uh, from the Moline Eagle Eye right now we're uh, kind of tilting up a little bit let's go a little bit to the right because that's the Rock Island water tower there right right so let's go a little bit to the right and we're just going to hold on this because um, because this is heading toward our direction right. here at News 8 the winds are just starting to pick up outside and it's just dark out to the west. Yeah. It is it's coming. You can actually hear uh, in the distance a little bit of the roaring that is going on, which is kind of eerie. You got an update, Andrew? I'm just kind of checking out some of the traffic camera networks. Very ominous sight on the I-74 bridge right now. Extremely dark to the west. Uh, just looking at our traffic camera network. Uh, but I'm also watching the Eagle Eye too. There you can see that uh, picture from the I-74 bridge. So You might yeah. see the gust front go yeah. over the I-74 bridge on this camera too. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, just moments away likely from impacting that region. Quality is a lot better too because you see the darkness. And that's basically what we're seeing outside our station as well. Uh, new severe thunderstorm warning. Um, I can read this off. Let's stay with this live yeah. shot right here. I'll give you the information on the severe thunderstorm warning. Um, this is a new one for Hancock, Henderson, Warren, McDonough, Mercer, Henry County in Illinois, Bureau County, Des Moines County in Iowa, and Lee County in southeastern Iowa. 60 mile per hour winds expected for these communities. If I read off your town, be ready to be indoors away from windows. Burlington, Kiwani, oh, we just <laughs> lost that camera. We just lost. Oh, yeah, sorry. Burlington, Kiwani, Fort Madison, Monmouth, Alito, Cambridge, Aquaca, West Burlington, Galva, Burgess, Roseville, Viola, Dallas City, Strong. Longhurst, Woodhall, Millersville, Matherville, Kirkwood, Alpha, and Sherrard, all in the potential uh, um, crosshairs for severe thunderstorms. Uh, that's what we've got right now. Everybody pretty much is going to be under a severe thunderstorm warning until this storm passes here. Uh, and, but the good news is, I mean, they'll pass by pretty quickly and, and then they'll move on through. And what we're seeing here is the winds kind of start to gust up from our Moline Eagle Eye. Um, and we're going to see our camera uh, shake a little bit. What was that? I'm sorry. Denise is. Uh... 
Yeah, we've got Denise in Davenport available too. I believe she's getting us a signal That's great. right now. There we go. Um, live shot right now at the wind, and it's going to be a persistent wind for about 15, 20 minutes. Um, keep in mind, this could take down trees, power lines, so you need to be um, indoors away from windows. Now, uh, Denise has set up this camera for us, connected it to our live capabilities, and <laughs> moved away from the windows uh, to a safe place. So, um, so we continue to monitor that here uh, early this afternoon. Um, looking yeah. right now at our Moline Eagle Eye, you can certainly see the dust. It's starting here. This is, if you can go. You can see the dust in this yeah, the, the dust towers. coming in the distance, um, and this is where that 70 mile per hour wind is going to come into the Quad Cities. Locally, up to 90 mile per hour winds can be expected with these storms. Um, and as we as we look at these live pictures, James, I want you to describe to me what it was like you, the last time we had the 90 hundred mile an hour winds. The that big derecho yes, event. Yes, that was. I think it was way back in the late 90s. I think, and I was on Good Morning Quad Cities with mm -hmm. Jim Burton's and Julie Sisk, and uh, that was an ominous threat because we had those reports. Of of that wind around 80, 90 miles an hour. If we can take Max 1, uh, I've got a, the uh, traffic camera network up on River Drive, 23rd Street. Ooh, that's dark. Substantial that amount scary. of dust you can see blowing in the background there uh, as the strong winds are moving in. Very dark, yeah, very dramatic scene. Also just uh, now starting to hit the I-74 bridge too. We may have just lost that camera here. I'm gonna switch this back over to the I-74 bridge for a second. Uh, and there you can see, yeah. Look at the cables. Just, are the cables shaking. are shaking. And yeah. that's hard to do for those cables to move like that. that that's and you're on the brakes now on the bridge, no doubt. You look at the white caps down on the, on the water the below. Yes. Um, we're losing our vantage point. Let's go to Max 2, Moline Eagle Eye right now. You can see that we're now into the heavy rain as that's pulling through the area. So we go to the radar picture right now. Severe thunderstorms coming through the Quad City metro area. Even yeah. tornado warnings now up to the north, southern to southern Wisconsin.